we are looking forward to our first inch of snowfall here and I can imagine all you folks at home are trying to narrow down the date where we're going to get our first inch snowfall in the WNAP backyard in order to win our snow thrower contest. So I looked at the past and looked at the current weather setup to see when that might happen. Does the date of the season's first freeze tell us anything about when we might receive our first snow? Historically, our first freeze is in the middle of October. This year, it happened about a week later than normal. Here, I have plotted the day of our first freezes and the day of our first snowfalls historically back to 1900. An upward line on this chart means an earlier freeze leads to an earlier first inch of snow, and a later freeze would lead to a later first inch of snow. But as you see, the dots are kind of scattered across the chart. That means there's no relationship between the two. Next, let's look at temperatures. This October was one degree below average. You may think that October's weather has hints to the future. So does a cooler October mean anything? Here's a look at the top 10 coldest Octobers in the Scranton area. Now here's a look at the dates of the top 10 earliest times we've seen an inch of snow. There's only one year where a top coldest October coincided with a top 10 earliest snowfall, and that happened back in 1976. So there isn't a relationship between October temperatures and first snowfall either. Something that might affect the date of our first inch of snow is the state of ENSO. ENSO is the pattern of trade winds over the Pacific that impacts our climate here in Pennsylvania. It fluctuates between warm and cold phases. We currently are in a neutral phase. In neutral years, our first inch of snowfall has been a week earlier than normal on average. Our average first inch of snowfall is typically somewhere around November 29th. So if you're trying to pinpoint the first inch of snowfall in the WNEP backyard for our annual snow thrower contest, here are some tips to remember. You have 72 hours or three full days before the snow event to get your submission in. The best strategy, in my opinion, is looking at our short-term forecasts rather than looking through all this past data. And if all those numbers weren't enough, uh, I just want to give you two more. The, the latest first inch of snow ever happened on January 25th one year, and the earliest is October 26th. So we are right in the middle of the snow pattern, and yeah, best of luck to everyone out there reporting live here in the Severe Weather Center. Anthony Bordenaro, Newswatch 16.